the Seattle waterfront is changing right beneath your feet. When you walk along Seattle's sidewalk, you'll be walking on glass panels. But look deeper, and you'll see that the changes aren't for tourists. They're for natives. Their function is to provide light to help thousands and thousands of little baby salmon. It's one feature of Seattle's new seawall, a $400 million infrastructure project that's doubling as a really big science experiment, the biggest of Jeff Cordell's career. I mean, nothing has ever been tried on this scale. You're walking on foot after foot after foot of new habitat. Cordell wants to see if coastal cities can better coexist with fish. For 80 years, Seattle's seawall was like most, a flat concrete slab that held back the sea but destroyed shallow water habitat that many species thrive on. Every spring, young salmon would migrate from Seattle's Duwamish River to the ocean, and they're hardwired to stay close to shore, which means they run right into this. In the inky darkness under the pier, life can get confusing for a fish. There's a good example of a shadow line from a pier, and they don't want to cross the shadow line, so they just mill around here. And there isn't much to eat in deep water. The new seawall is supposed to make life easier, not only by providing a naturally lit corridor for the fish to pass through on their way to the ocean, but also by featuring overhangs and rocky surfaces along the way for fish food to grow on. Look at the brown scum here. We love to see that because that's where the little crustaceans grow that the juvenile salmon feed on. You can't count out brown scum. Most seawalls are still built like Seattle's was back in the 1930s, and construction is expected to increase. Sea level rise is beginning to happen now and is projected to continue. As polar ice caps melt, sea levels are expected to rise up to four feet in the Pacific Northwest this century, and up to six feet in places around the world. There's gonna be much more need for coastal infrastructure and a lot more thinking about how we can best create habitat for organisms that we're removing it from. Cordell plans to think about it for the next 10 years. Once the seawall is complete, he'll begin a decade-long monitoring project to figure out if it does what it's supposed to. It's still a lot darker than it is out there where we were a few minutes ago, and you can see the brown scum on here is almost non-existent. Even that brown stuff needs good amount of sunlight to grow. If the experiment succeeds, the Seattle waterfront's biggest change could be the change it inspires in seawalls around the world.